Hi guys, my name is Jackie, this is Jackie Does Keto. Welcome to my home and my kitchen. Um, today I am sharing with you um, my grocery haul for keto, my meal plan, which is quite brief, and a meal prep video, again, which is gonna be quite brief this week. Um, last week I did quite a lot of snacky prep, only got loads left over because I've been very cautious in my portion sizes. So yay, I haven't got to do too much this week. Um, so if you are new here, please consider pressing the subscribe button, which is somewhere below here. And the little bell will tell you when I've uploaded things. I upload about three times a week. Um, I do milk videos like this with preps and plans and grocery hauls. I also do my weekly weigh-in on a Monday. And I also do like a full day of eating or something else keto related. Also, if you are looking at some of the things that I've got in my video, there'll be stuff in the description box below. Also links to things like my Instagram. I'd love to um, connect with everyone. Everyone is so supportive. So that will all be in the description box. So we've got a bit of a different haul because there's a lot more meat than you would normally see from me. I'm kind of changing up... Um, what I'm eating, we're eating a bit more meat based for the time being. And we're going to be having burgers tomorrow on Sunday because my partner's going to cook and he's happy doing burgers. So burgers, and also to go with it, I've got some halloumi burgers, which I thought was pretty interesting. Obviously it's just halloumi that's round shape and overpriced. But um, I thought that'd be nice to have a halloumi burger with my burger. Some ham, which my partner will probably have for sandwiches. Chicken, which again, my cats will probably have as well. I also went to the butchers, which I don't, sh I know everyone's got access to butchers anymore, but I bought just for some pre-seasoned chicken tikka breasts. Um, the seasoning is mostly spice rather than dextrose and sugars and stuff. Um, so I will, might happily have one of these and this regular old steak. So I'm thinking of steak and a bit of chicken and got some pepperoni sticks which my partner likes as well. Huge bag of chicken breasts, it's getting expensive. It's like nine quid, I think. But I'll be using some of that for my dinners for next week on my meal prep. Um, I've got a couple of packs of cheeses. The, cheese, the hard cheese that I had um, is gone. I had my nails did. <laughs> I've treated myself. Do you know why I'm treating myself? Talking hand. Because I worked really bloody hard this week. And I was stuck so rigidly to everything. So I deserve it. So look at my hands. Anyway, I also bought this green chilli pickle. Never tried it before. It was an offer. Don't know much about it. Um, ten percent, but you know you're gonna like you're not gonna have like hundred grams. So it makes a ten percent yield. So I mean, that might be nice for my burger. Green chilies with mixed spices. So that might be interesting on a burger. Um, I was running out of onion granules, so I've grabbed some of those. My two Dr Pepper zeros, pack of pepper pepper peppers. Um, I got a dozen eggs because the eggs worked for me last week, and I got two celeriacs um as well which i'll be uh parboiling and roasting because i think i'm going to be having well now i'm having i'm already decided i'm going to be having a pep paprika chicken with celeriac chips so that is my little diddy haul a bit different for this week um but i'm gonna throw this all in the fridge and i'll show you my meal plan so this is the meal plan for next week again real simple i'm really enjoying simplifying everything and cutting things back so it's been it's been a really good process for me um so i've got leftovers um from last week it's meal prep i've got meatballs spare I've got those little calzone pockets left over i've also got that peppered mackerel in the freezer which i'm going to defrost and i just cooked up some eggs as always because i've been finding them nice and filling if i run out of these things i probably will i've also got a pack of pate and some crackers um left over from uh, two weeks ago Tasted them, they're real, still for absolutely fine and crisp. And I'm this, the main thing I'm cooking this week, I've got really down for five nights, but it's probably going to be four, because I think tomorrow night we're having burgers. We were going to have burgers, yes, tonight. Um, but I'm going to, I bought some steak on the, on the, on the fly. So I'm going to do steak tonight with cow. And um, so I probably will freeze at least one of them. Um, this is the recipe, this is my to-do list, which is make the chicken paprika, uh, which is this recipe. And uh, celeriac fries, there's my celeriacs ready to be peeled. What I'm going to do, I'm going to peel them, chop them into the right sizes, parboil them in my pan that's heating up there. And then I've roasted them with oil and I think cayenne. Um, and then I'll just divide the weight before I um, put them in a pot. I'll, I'll weigh them before I boil them. I'll just divide it by five and get five portions out of them. This is recipe I'm following. This is from Keto Diet App. I'll leave a link below. There's so many free recipes on there. Really recommend checking it out. There's also, if you join the list, I didn't realise you can actually download um, 12 day, 14 day eating plans. 
for free um, with four recipes and they're really simple. So if you are looking to start out, I really do recommend checking their website out. I'll, again, I'll leave that below. Um, and so we got that until Friday. Then Saturday, I've got blanks because my stepson arrives on Saturday. We've not had him for quite a while, so we, we, he's going to be good to see him. He's 12 and a half. He wants to eat pizza and hunter's chicken and sweet and sour chicken and to go to takeaways. He wants McDonald's, you know, the full usual stuff that kids like. So my plan is next Saturday when my partner's going to get him, it's like an all day journey. Um, I'm going to be cooking up some gammon for myself. I'm just going to do pork gammon, pulled pork, and um, probably a big tray of cauliflower, broccoli, cheesy sauce kind of thing. And so the following week, I'll be having that when they're having the things that I shouldn't have. Um, we'll also have things like burgers. We'll probably eat out and I'll just pick and choose from the menu. But I do not want to. Normally when he's with us, I um, carry on eating whatever they're eating and just deal with the aftermath. But I do not want to do that anymore. I want to eat what I'm going to eat. It's the plan. I will crack on prepping my veggies. That's also the stock I'm going to be using as a recipe. Um, I have been told this recipe on the comments after reading them. There's a little bit bland. So I'm going to spice this up with some cumin and some garlic. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on with my uh, my preparation and get this meal prep going. Man, that's a lot of celeriac. Mm, might be more than five portions, we'll see. And I'm gonna parboil these for probably about 20 minutes. I'm gonna sort of squeeze them and give them a little poke of a knife to see how tender they get. Um, which helps us, the, I wish you put in the oven, it's going to take absolutely bloody ages. So um, I'm just going to parboil these, let them drain, and I'm going to pop them in the oven. I'll put some seasoning on them, but I'm just going to leave those alone now while I work on the chicken. So I've got an onion and a pepper chopped up here. Um, I've also saved my scraps again going forward, because I want to cook that gammon next week. I'm going to throw all those scraps in my slow cooker to get a nice broth. Um, so I'm going to put this in the uh, pan with some olive oil just to cook up. You could use ghee or coconut, but I'm using what I've got. And I'm going to use a, not quite all of this. Um, that one, two, three, pull out five breasts. So I'll have one spare for the freezer, what have you. Um, for uh, and then I'm going to cook it with the paprika and um, I think some sour cream and some whipping cream. So, <clears throat> so this is the chicken paprika. I'm about to add in the stock. I have had a taste of it, and I think it is. Bland, but I've put can in it, so it's got a kick to it. But um, what I think I'm going to do something different. It doesn't mention it. It's put maybe put a teaspoon of um, erythritol to give it, make it a sweet stew, which I think might be quite interesting, and different. Um, so I'm going to put my stock in first. Leave this to simmer for um, a half an hour. Turn it down a little, and um, have another little taste this and see how it go. Because um, I hope the spices will infuse as well. And um, I'll take it. I'll when I'm sort of Towards the end, I'll do a little taste and see if it will benefit from a little bit of sweetness. So my celiac chips are drained, parboiled, and I've got just some, I've been a bit crazy with the canned peppers, so these might blow my head off. So a drizzle of olive oil um, and canned pepper. I'm gonna pop these in the oven to go brown. I've got my paprika chicken, um, slowly reducing. I'm not really impressed with the flavor on it. So I think I'm gonna have to pull out the, um, herbs and spices for sure um, there is going to be cream going into this so and sour cream so that might make a massive difference i'm sure it will um but this is due to, due to be finished in about five minutes so i'll be stirring that in and doing some taste tests and the paprika chicken is done um putting the sour cream in the whipped cream and a little bit of erythritol has made a world of difference it's really tasty I'm glad I stuck with it. Um, so I'm going to divide this up into five and have it with my um, celeriac fries. And we are done for the week for meal prepping. So I've got five, end up five of these. You don't actually get that many celeriac chips, I remember now. Um, so we got the celeriac fries with the um, paprika chicken with extra cumin and garlic and all sorts in it. This worked out to be 430 calories and 4.6 net carbs. It's like three and a half in there. So there's about eight carbs for that meal. And I have to say, I've tested it. I've eaten humble pie because that is delicious. And I'm going to go to bed looking forward to eating my dinner tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, I just did my eggs. Bad, bad peeling again. And these are just the leftovers I had last week. If you didn't see last week's video, just those meatballs. 
and those little um, feta field calzones. And then I've got some yellow sticker fish from the freezer. So I'm gonna have one of these, a couple of those, some of those, a couple of eggs. I've also got some cucumber portions as well. So I'm gonna have some of those. And um, that's my lot. Well, that's all I have for you this week's meal prep. Thank you so much for uh, joining me. And um, I will see you tomorrow for the weekly weigh-in, see how I've done this week. And um, during the week as well for a full day of eating. Hope you have a fabulous week, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.